Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to Airport CEO. Today we're back on Yorkshire International and we're back in the thick of it. Uh, we've not really done anything since uh, since we last saw each other. I have had a little tinker around because it has, uh, it has come to my attention that on our large stand, which is this one down here, hang on, where are we? This one here, uh, we've not got any of, uh, we've not got anything using that stand. Now, I don't know why that is. I've been doing a little bit of investigating and it was a TUI only stand. So I've clicked it and there is a medium flight uh, that is wanting to be scheduled. Now, uh, having a look through the planner, as you can see, we're uh, we're pretty, uh, pretty fully booked really when medium flights are concerned. Uh, so maybe we don't get any large uh, flights until the medium flights are, uh, are satisfied. But until we build more medium stands we can't do anything with it which is uh, it could also be the fact that uh, oh no, hang on it it's a uh, it's not an international flight so so there we go so what i've done is uh, i have signed a uh, oh hang on no master contract has been signed what do you mean of course i have signed a master contract i don't know what you're on about let's have a look uh, there we go offered contracts accepted contact there there we go the contract is signed what are you on about <coughs> yeah, so I thought we'd go for an airline like Virgin Atlantic that only has large aircraft in its fleet. However, Virgin seems to be saying that no master contract has been signed, which is a lie. It's an absolute lie. Is there something that we've done wrong here? Uh, medium object to use this object. Uh, night flights, yeah. Yeah, so we want it to accept international flights. It's a bit weird. A bit weird got the jetway yeah everything's okay up here yep yeah. so you're gonna come up here yep yeah. it's looking good uh, I said that I was gonna do this as well it was pointed out you've not done the queues here um, I had intended not to do the queues here and I was gonna do them uh, whilst you were not here and then I forgot uh, there is also a bit of secure zone which I have missed out here it was pointed out to me by mr. Curtis thank you for that and, uh, yeah, I can't for the life in me think why it's not working. We've got security there. Everything, everything's fine. I don't know. Uh, let's have a look back at the planner. We've got... Oh! We've, ah! The large flight is scheduled in. Brilliant. What is it? It's a 787-900. Wow! Right, okay. Oh, I am excited. The first large flight is arriving, everybody! Oh, this is going to be brilliant. How long have we got until it appears? I, I'm in the wrong tab. This is how excited I am. It's coming at 18.30 by the looks of things. Is that coming in every day? We've got a TUI flight the next day. Oh, this is brilliant. Right, well, do you know what? We're going to need some more large stands. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll tell you now. Right. Uh, right, so we will, uh, what, what is this? So this is 16 by 10. Okay, so if we build another 16 by 10. 16 by 10. Not enough money. Right, okay, well, we'll, we'll let the money happen. Let's have a look in our, uh, in our costs as well. Uh, fees. Large aircraft, we are charging them the maximum amount that we possibly can. That's good. We'll, uh, we'll just charge you a little bit more as well for the hangar repair. Uh, De-icing fluid, we don't have that yet. Bathroom usage, £5. Everything is golden. That's lovely. Lovely indeed. Right, so people are starting to come up to, uh, to board their flight. Of course, at some point... There we go. Look, they're all, uh, they're all just filtering through. Now, as we get more... Um, of the, uh, what am I saying here? As we get more stands down here, this will, of course, be busier. Uh, what we don't want is that it's so busy, people start missing flights. So, we're going to have some nice little shops around here. That'll be nice, won't it? Uh, yep. And, of course, maybe some shops up here, maybe a nice seating. Maybe a first-class lounge. You never know. Why are they going through there? You, you shouldn't be doing that. No, you, you should go this way. Oh, well, they're, uh, they're all here. 
Here we are. Oh, it's here. Isn't that brilliant? Isn't it beautiful? The Boeing 787-900 is here. Virgin Atlantic. That is brilliant. I'm really excited about that. Service technician. Oh, look, the jetways actually go up to the aircraft. I did not know that that happened. And they actually hug the aircraft pretty well. Apart from that one. Oh, folk are getting off. I wonder how many passengers there are. Let's have a couple of... Uh, couple of service technicians. Yeah, we needed a few, don't we? We'll just hire the green ones for now. There they go, look. Oh, brilliant. £22 a time. This is fantastic. Look at that. Doesn't it look good? If we can get a lot of aircraft on this stand, you know, like a constant, as soon as one's out, the other one's in. That would be absolutely fantastic. Oh, I am so pleased that we've got large aircraft eventually and of course where's it where's it going can we uh can we click it yep it's going oh it's come from chubu centre international airport in japan wow <coughs> excuse me how many oh there's quite a few folk you need you need to go over here guys uh, you know it's nice you're milling around there but you need to you need to go over here. Have I forgotten to do something? Nope, they're all uh, they're all international. Is it because that's not international? Are they going now? Yeah, they're going now. Look, you were just a little bit stumped, weren't you? There's still people getting off the plane. Wow, that is absolutely mental. I think what we could also do with doing is uh, shoving some windows in here as well. There we go, it just, uh, just makes it nice, doesn't it? Oh, I've not done the queues. Right, okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll do the queues now then. I know I said I wasn't going to do the queues when, uh, when you were here, but I in fact lied. Right, there we go. There we go. Brilliant. And we'll do the exact same again here. Hopefully they'll all join the queue properly. Yeah, lovely. Thank you. And the third one. Oh, they're like animals, aren't they? Hang on. If you could just all hold on a second, please. Stop pushing. Queues are appearing. I didn't think we'd have large planes this soon, if I'm honest. Uh, it, it's one of those... Uh, And get rid of that. Yeah. Keep that down there. Lovely. And I don't know what we're going to do with the end one. Oh, we'll just keep all these level. There we go. Yeah, keep that fine like that. So ideally you want to go to an automated one. Because even though the queues all start at the same point. The automated queues are a lot shorter, aren't they? Not that we want people to go to the automated ones, of course, because... Uh, should we have some fern plants? Yeah. Lovely. Very nice indeed. Right, so, are people boarding? They're already boarding. Oh, there's no member of... Oh, hang on. So there's no member of staff here. That's a bit of a shame. Right, hang on. We could really do with a member of staff. Uh, passenger service executive. Yeah, get these. A few more, because we need a few more. We'll hire the... Uh, I was going to say we'll hire the yellow ones, but that just doesn't quite roll off the tongue as... Uh, you know, as well as it should do. As well as... Uh, there we go. So we'll hire the green ones, train them up. Uh, have we only got that many service technicians? Passenger service. Right, get you trained up so you're all green. You can't be green. That's fine. There we go. All good. Goody, goody, good. Get you all on there. Because, uh, yeah, it appears... Oh, there's actually some passenger service agents there now to check, is it? Why are we all upset? Is that because there's a lot of people here? They can't board. Well, that's because you meant to queue. We can't We can't add a queue to this, can we? It's just like a, 
kind of this big, this big scrum. Right, hang on. We don't have a. We do have pushback trucks. That is a lie. How on earth can can they push back if we don't have pushback trucks? I disagree with what you're saying there. But what we will do is we'll hire some more service vehicle parking lot. There we go. We'll build these and uh, vehicles purchase. Now, do we need a large? Ah, right. Okay. So that's got a roof on. We'll have five of you. Okay, right, uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll also put a bit of asphalt under that, so it looks good. Don't know what we're going to use in this space here, I kind of feel like it's a bit of a wasted space. Right, new product has arrived, so where are they? They're on their way. Assign. There. Oh, hang on, we, we can't assign them until uh, until we've actually built the parking structure. Well, that does make sense. There we go. Right, okay, where are the things? Uh, oh, that's a baggage truck. Oh, hang on. I bought five baggage trucks, haven't I? Oh, you're an absolute nana. Baggage truck. For crying out loud. Uh, pushback truck. Yeah. Um, mm, yeah, okay. Uh, what did I buy? Yeah, baggage truck. Yeah, I didn't mean to do that. Now I feel a bit of a fool. Right, where are my pushback truck? There we go. Right, so, yeah, because I've used yeah any medium aircraft. That's it. Five of you. I mean, we'll leave the luggage trucks, because, I mean, we're going to need luggage. It, it's just going to be needed, isn't it? So, uh, yeah. Right, hang on. So we've got five of them things coming. They're, they're coming soon. Sorry, there's uh, a small delay. Just a small aircraft delay there while uh, while we hire some, uh, some pushback tugs. Get you in there. And get you in there too. And last but not least, get you in there. Brilliant. Now, can someone uh, can someone push this aircraft back, please? Thank you. Richard Branson will be absolutely fuming. Virgin Atlantic will not be happy. Right, are we... Uh, so the pushback tug is on. Are these all for the two-way flight? Or they're for the, are they for the midnight... There for the Virgin flight, which should be coming in now. Oh dear. Oh dear. Come on, get it pushed back. Time to go. Have we got enough staff? I don't think we have. Oh, we've not got enough janitors, right? Okay, we'll just hire some janitors. I mean, janitors. We, we could do with having enough janitors, but it's really not the end of the world if we don't have enough, is it? The airport will look a bit scruffy. Oh well. No, we'll, we'll train them up so they'll work a bit better. There we go. We keep them all uh, as maximum trained as they can be. I do like the fact that some of the janitors will never, you know, like, they'll, they'll never be as good as the others. You know, that's a nice thing. I like that because in in all walks of life, some people can be better than others. You know what I mean? Like, I, for instance, don't have the mental capacity to do chemistry an odd example but yeah I was never particularly good at chemistry at school it bored me I didn't enjoy it you know and there's other people that are naturally better at chemistry than I am driving vehicles I might be better than you, you get what I'm getting at so it's nice that like however much training you put them through some of them are still a bit crap and that's good right is that plane gone no why have you not gone Excuse me. There is an aircraft that is now late because you are late. Oh, I'm a little bit worried. 
Why is the plane not going? You know, I just need you to go ASAP, please. What actually happened with the baggage? I'd like to see all the baggage snaking out. Oh, they're, they're all... Oh, hang on, where is the baggage? A lot of people waiting for luggage that hasn't collected yet. Oh, that is a point that I needed to do. We needed to make this a staff zone. There we go. Make this a staff zone. Make this a staff zone so that they cannot walk on the uh, on the belts because we don't want that, do we? We'll just put that as a staff zone all the way down. Yeah, all the way down there. Lovely. Thank you. I think they've all just given up. Their luggage is not coming. You just have to accept these things. Oh, the plane is actually going now. That's good. I wonder if the next one will land. Oh, you see, that one should have... Oh, dear. That's... Uh, yeah, that should be leaving now. Oh, we're not turning them around quick enough. What are you? Are you a, uh, you're a 787 as well. Status delayed. Oh dear. Right, okay. Well, what is the best thing to do in a situation like this? Um, oh, hang on. What we do need to do, we'll pop some walls around here. Because we haven't done that yet. We'll, uh, there we go. So, in the departure lounge, we will need uh, some toilets. this gate. They're not going to be massive toilets. There we go. Oh, sounds like another aircraft's here. Yeah, they're not going to be massive toilets simply because it's only going to be these people that are going to be using them. Now, we need we need some sort of shop because having a look at it, uh, the people are hungry. Oh, hang on. Yeah, we've not said that this is a bathroom. Right, hang on, so, I just want to see all the luggage. So this is the luggage waiting to go onto the aircraft. Right, hang on, no, we'll, we'll set this up as a bathroom first. Uh, two sinks. Will this be big enough? I don't know. I have a feeling it will be. It's only a little bathroom, but then again, there's it's not that many people that should be using it, is there? Right, hang on. So we'll see the luggage get loaded onto the luggage truck. This is going to fill her up with some fuel. Do we have two fuel tanks? Oh no, he's going the other way. Right, let's uh, let's speed things up and see the uh, see the bagage loading or unloading, should I say? Where's the uh, where's the the little truck that's going to get the luggage off? Is this where we're going wrong? We don't appear to have uh, a truck to get the luggage off. Oh, there's more luggage trucks coming. Right, hang on. What have we actually got here? Stair truck, stair truck, stair truck. Uh, push back. Yep, we... Belt loader. We've got quite a few belt loaders. But not enough, obviously. Right, hang on. We shall have another five. Large carrier belt loader truck. Right, there we go. We'll have a, we'll have another five of them. Now I'll just spend a load of money. It doesn't matter. Maybe that's why uh, the last plane went out late. Right, of which case we need another parking space. We need another parking space. Hang on, I'll find it in a minute. There we go. That's asphalt underneath. Yeah, you see, this is something I didn't take into account when we got large planes. There we go. Build all of this, please. If you could build it quickly before they arrive. Right, there we go. So you are going to need to go there, please. Oh, we, they've not built it yet. Flipping heck. There we go, right. 
Go there. No. One. Two. Three. Where's the other one? There he is. Four. And there's one there. Five. There we go. So they're all assigned. The luggage is coming off. That finally. Oh, I like that. That's quite good. I like how they do that. So they loaded them into bins then, I imagine. I don't know. Right, so how's this going to work? Is he just going to throw a load of... He's going to drive across the luggage belt? Of course he is. Ah, so they're literally firing people's cases onto there. Which are all just going to come whizzing round here. See, the good thing with that is that you get your cases really flipping quick, don't you? Well, you don't actually, because now that I come to think of it, the luggage has been delayed off the plane. Never mind. That luggage is going to keep going round. <coughs> now that I think about it, this luggage belt might not quite be quick enough. It's going to keep going round and round, though. I love that. Absolutely love it. Right, so, we've got... Oh, hang on, there's a different plane there now. For goodness sake, that other one's loaded and gone. Oh, I can't believe it. Right, so that was it. We needed to make some loops. So this is going to be for the ladies. And this will be for the gentlemen. Yep. That's absolutely fine. Now, what we are also going to do is we are going to use this room here as a little staff room. Sounds busy, doesn't it? Staff room, yeah, lovely. We're gonna have some nice flooring. Isn't that nice flooring? And, uh, and some nice sofas. Brilliant. Anyone can use those loos there. Quite busy, isn't it? Especially a five or a time, but it's it's fine. They're not too busy. A lot of people stood or sitting down even. So we could also have. Uh, another lounge round here. I like the fact that two are using uh, this stand as well. I would like, like, mm, I don't know, you see I'd like some sort of lounge here for first class. Maybe here? You know, down the end? But what we could do, I mean, this is the lift space. We could have more people sitting down here, couldn't we? Yeah, I like the idea of that. So let's have... One, two, three, four, five. And some chairs in the middle. Right, there we go. That'll do. And then in between here we can have some nice plants. That'll be nice, won't it? There we go. Yeah, and yeah. Now you see they do all get quite cross when it comes to the old boarding. Why can't they just form a neat line here? Maybe this automatic boarding business is uh, you see, maybe having to go all the way back round there is, is a bit of a problem. I don't know. I might actually... Oh, hang on, what, what are this lot doing here? Oh, no, they're coming, they're coming into this staff room. Right, yeah, get rid of contractor. Oh, no, dear me, that is too many people for that room. That's far too many people. Get out. Get out! Oh, that is an unsavoury amount of people for that room. Mm, you've got to be careful or your, your contractors are flooding the place. My goodness me. Oh, are they all cross because they've missed the plane? Oh no, because the next one's it. Right, there's a fairly frequent service here, isn't there? So what we're going to do is we are going to build another terminal here. And we're going to copy exactly what we've already got. No, we're not, because there's insufficient funds. Okay. So 
so I'm just kind of wondering what we're going to do here. Because this upstairs bit is going to be, so you, you're either at this gate or this gate, so you're not walking past other gates. That's kind of what I'm going to do. This downstairs bit, I might leave it open. I've not quite yet decided. It would mean that we wouldn't need any other bits down here. Because they could just walk, couldn't they? Eh? See what I mean? Do you not see what I mean? Yeah, we'll leave this open so we don't need the downstairs bits. So we'll demolish this. And we shall have... We'll, we'll do that after the after we've demolished the wall. Because otherwise we'll have uh, a little section missing of secure zone. There we go, we'll have another large stand here. Insufficient funds, how much do the flipping things cost? Oh, okay, 400,000, yeah. Uh, it could be a while until we can afford that. We might need to take some more loan. How are we coping with passport control? We're coping alright. We've got an acceptable level of people. They're all going to now pick up their baggage. We could do with making this a little bit pretty, couldn't we? Because uh, it is not the prettiest. It's very ugly. Right, secure. Yep. Ooh, that is such a secure zone. It's frightening how secure that is. There we go. International. It's all part of the international zone. Oh, contractors are all working hard. Or hardly working. Who knows? I'll have some windows on here. Yep. Uh, yeah. Two there. And then, was it six that we left in the middle? Yeah. And two there. Lovely. Get them windows built, please. So then up here we can have shops, can't we? Oh, that's the idea anyway. Now, what we're going to do when we've got another stand, if we have a look on here, is we have got two it, one to it and then three virgin flights a day. So what we're going to do is we're going to have this stand as virgin only and then we can have a nice first class lounge here, can't we? Down at the end for Virgin. And it'll be nice. In fact, I'll tell you what we are going to do. We're going uh, to brand that now. Yeah, that'll do. Oh, perhaps a bit dark. There we go. Ooh, look how red that is. Lovely. Oh, you can even paint the lifts red. I don't like them at all. Red toilets, red sinks. Oh, you can't paint the sinks red, but you can paint the toilets red. It's all red. You know what virgin... Oh, red escalators. That is disgusting. How can you... Can, can you paint them like normal? I don't like the red. Right, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, guys, but we are just going to have to bulldoze these escalators and put more in. Because that is disgusting. I didn't know you could colour the escalators. You'll have to use the lift. There's a lift there. Yeah. If you could all just use the lifts now, please. Until the new escalators are built. Oh, what a performance. Right, well, before I can do any more damage with a paintbrush, that is where we are going to finish today. I think that we've done... Uh, well, we've not really done that much. But, still... We've, uh, we've made some sterling progress. We've got flights running. We can prove that they can work. And that is fantastic. We've got 300,000 in the bank. So hopefully next time we should be able to put more, uh, more things in. There'll be another flight landing anytime soon. Because it is just a complete conveyor belt. Uh, but yeah, I think we've done quite well today. I'm really, really pleased with the large flights. If you have enjoyed today's episode, please do click the like button. It's always appreciated. And uh, it helps the video do better. Um, so, you know, it's, it makes for a happy job. Of course, if you are enjoying Airport CEO in general, 
uh, please do make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and do click that notification bell so that you never miss out on any future episodes. Other than that, next time, hopefully, we should have some, uh, some new swanky grey lifts. And uh, yeah, I really do hope I'll see you there. Cheerio. Goodbye for now.